The 2023 Pan American Jiu-Jitsu Championship. It's Diogo Hayes of Melky Galvão Jiu-Jitsu against Diego Pato of Art of Jiu-Jitsu. I'm psyched for this match. Yes. Rematch of the semifinal at the 2022 Worlds. Pato came away with the victory in that match, but it was razor close. Double guard pull here. Pato right into an ankle position. Yeah, here. he's trying to finish that foot. Like he finished one earlier today. Look at the pace that both of these guys are going at. Yeah, these guys are fighting hard for that those grips that they want from the double guard pull before someone comes up. They're going to get stood back up. Diego Hayes beats Zach Kine in the semifinal to advance to this match. Very close. Very yes, close match. Very close. Very technical match. Diego Pato beat Yuta Shimada of Alliance to advance to this light featherweight final. Diego Pato representing Artist Jiu-Jitsu. His first major tournament representing his new team, Diogo Hayes representing Melky Galvao Jiu-Jitsu. Score is 0-0, one advantage, one penalty each. Pato with the lasso on the left side, Diego, Diogo Hayes looking to pass on the left side there. Pato just showing a lot of diversity in his game. Gi no Gi, just a deadly competitor. Diago, the Megalodon, no more known as the baby shark, <laughs> in the pocket there, putting the pressure on Diago Pot Diego Pato. Megalodon-esque pressure from yes. this light featherweight. Pato's looked great this weekend, has a couple submissions. Got one yesterday, got an ankle lock today against a tough opponent, Mario Alvarado. And now he is working to try to win his second Black Belt Pan title. Diogo Hayes is a Brazilian national champion, world's bronze medalist, looking for his first Pan title as a Black Belt. Trying to extract his leg. Nice movement by Diogo Hayes on top. Trying to strip those grips, circle his hand out of that lasso of Diego Pato. Pato transitioning to the De La Hiva. Keeping those sleeve grips. Nice little omoplata attempt by Pato. Diogo shucks it off. Diogo stepping on the leg, trying to pin it. Create a passing opportunity. Trying to use some lateral movement to get away from this dangerous guard of Diego Pato. Jumping side to side now. 6.32 left, dead even, 1-1. One, one. one advantage, one penalty. Diago Hayes getting in nice and tight on Diego Pato, not giving him any space. These guys are so evenly matched, this is very close so far. Neither competitor giving an inch. Diogo Hayes trying to pin that leg, steps on it again. Trying to move to the side, but Pato's just so good with these grips. Got this lasso with his left leg. His knee in front of Diogo Hayes' shoulder.
Coming up on the halfway point of this light featherweight final, Diego Pato's put on quite a performance here at the 2023 Pan. He's got a couple beautiful submissions. Diego Hayes has some good wins as well. He is on top in the blue gi. Pato on bottom in the white gi. Diogo's been working this leg pin style guard pass. Yeah, we saw that with Fabricio as well. It's trending, the leg pin pass straight out of Southern California. <laughs> Diago putting the pressure now, pinning that right leg to the floor, driving his shoulder into the lasso of Diego Pato. Diago spinning to the outside, Diego recovery. It's gonna be really hard for him to get any pass unless he can disconnect from that lasso. Now Pato underhooking the leg. We'll see if he tries to set up a different attack. He's reaching for the lapel. Maybe trying to go for some matrix style back take, but Diogo frees himself of the position. We're back in this lasso. Pato going for that underhook again. Diogo frees his legs. Let's see if he can start to get some movement going. Pato just has such strong grips and he's so flexible. Hard for Diogo to close the distance or to disconnect and Start with the side-to-side -side movement. Pato trying to look for that omoplata. He's got that collar grip with his left arm. There he goes, shoots the omoplata up. Diogo trying to jump Beautiful. to the other side. Nice escape by Diogo Hayes. Let's see if he tries to go right into a guard pass. Yeah, D Diego put his position, legs in position for Omoplata, but there was no threat. There was no extension of his legs on the shoulder. And that's why Diago was able to just acrobatically escape that Omoplata attempt. So no advantage. I don't think there's going to be an advantage for that because the, the fact that Diago was able to escape so fast, there was no real threat of a submission there. It was a position, but not a threat. But man, that was slick on both ends. Yes. No advantage, but should the match remain tied, is showing that Diego Pato is the one attacking, trying to get the finish. Yeah. Could be significant. My personal criteria, I would say yes. I would say that whoever had the most compelling submission attempt or even close to one should be the one winning. And remember, I believe Diego started things off with a footlock attempt, so. Yep. But again, that's, that's just me. Two minutes, 15 seconds left. Diogo Hayes on the bottom, or sorry, on the top, trying to pass Diego Pato. Diego inverting nice now, going inversion. for the leg. See if he can maintain control of this leg. Trying to reach for that far pant grip. Notice what he did after the inversion. He sucked up the leg, but then he cinched it even tighter and tighter and closer and closer. The One of the risk versus reward with the leg locks is if there's too much space you can get your back taken but Diego Pato's not letting it happen last thing he wants is the Megalodon baby shark to bite <laughs> and end up losing the match because of an overzealous transition there so he's got to be careful 125 left in this match Diego Hayes now motioning right to left Diego Pato with that lasso grip there defending Nice little pass attempt by Diogo Hayes. Gets momentarily around the legs, gets the advantage for that pass attempt. Yeah, he shelved the leg there on top of his, but wasn't enough to stabilize, but he got the advantage. So Diogo Hayes is up by one advantage. And that is gonna put the onus on Diego Pato. He's gotta get a bit more aggressive here. He is down now by one advantage, less than one minute left here in this light featherweight final at the 2023 Pans. And this is where Diago is really good because he he smells the desperation in Diego Pato right yes. now. Like some blood in the water against a real Megalodon. He knows he can 
sense that desperation nice and fear. Nice pass attempt here again by Diogo Hayes. Now Diogo's putting it on, adding more pressure, going for the double stack. Diego Pato trying everything he can to recover. 15 seconds left. Diego's got to keep working. He does have one penalty. If he gets another one, doesn't look like he's going to. He's working. He stays on top. Diogo Hayes is your 2023 light featherweight pan champion. Beautiful performance and a great win over world champion Diego Pato. Yeah, that was uh, one of those matches where, you know, no points scored, but several advantages and penalties, but a lot happened in that match. A lot of exchanges, a lot of attempts, uh, guard passing, omoplata, foot locks. That was a very, very entertaining match. And with that win, Diogo Hayes gets his first black belt pan title, his second major title as a black belt. Won the Brazilian Nationals last year. Now he is a 2023 light feather pan champion. And your 2023 male light featherweight champion is Diogo Hayes, representing Nogi Global Jiu-Jitsu. Diogo Hayes gets the win, 2023 light featherweight champion at the pans. First pan title as a... Beautiful stuff from Diogo Hayes.